Something remarkable is about to happen in the deserts of North America. They are turning green. But what's turning these arid plains into lush green wetlands? All thanks to the hardworking beings and beavers who are quietly reshaping the landscape. They are the unexpected allies in the battle to protect the environment and have spent over 12 years saving desert rivers, combating fires, easing drought, and reviving declining fish populations. So let's dive into this video today to learn how these beavers restore North American deserts. Here we begin. Beavers are incredible creatures found in the Northern Hemisphere, and there are generally two types, the North American and the Eurasian beaver. They are well adapted to live in both water and on land. Their front feet are like hands, perfect for land activities, while their webbed back feet make them excellent swimmers. Also, beavers have flat, scaly tails measuring 6 to 12 inches, which serve as rudders in water and a warning signal when they slap against the water to alert other beavers of danger. These herbivores munch on tree bark, aquatic plants, and grasses. Let's get into the history of beavers in North America. Early European explorers in the 1600s marveled at the countless beavers in lakes, rivers, and ponds. These creatures were abundant, estimated at a staggering 100 million. Beaver dams and ponds were widespread, creating rich wetlands covering over 300,000 square miles in pre-Columbian America, about a tenth of the land. This mosaic of wetlands brought diversity to the continent. However, the fur trade was a major driver of the beaver's decline. Trappers almost drove them to extinction, and today, only 10 to 15 million beavers remain in North America. Beaver fur was highly sought after, leading to relentless hunting. Castorium, a beaver's scent gland, was also used in medicine, perfume, and food flavoring. And if that's not enough, as people settled and farmed on land once inhabited by beavers, these creatures were often seen as pests. Their dams could flood farms and houses, and they cut down trees, causing conflicts with farmers and communities. In the 1960s, government relocation plans involved capturing beavers and parachuting them into remote areas. So, beavers are still relocated today, but there's a better way. Modern solutions allow beavers and humans to coexist. Low-cost interventions can deter beavers from causing trouble. By preventing flooding through human resources pipes over and under dams and using entrance cages to increase water flow, we can keep beavers in check. Protective cages around specific trees also prevent beavers from cutting them down. Beavers are swift in water, but not as adept on land. And when we talk about their transformative powers, beavers are slow and vulnerable creatures, facing predators like coyotes, wolves, bears, and mountain lions. To avoid these threats, beavers are mostly active at night and do their work. When escaping from terrestrial predators, they find refuge in deep water. This is where their amazing dams come into play, blocking water flow and creating a safe haven for beavers. Moreover, beavers construct impressive lodges from branches and sticks. These lodges can only be accessed from underwater entrances, which keep predators out. This makes the beaver's nest a secure place for sleeping and raising their young. Now, let's dive into how beavers can transform landscapes. Beavers can change a dry area into a lush paradise through their remarkable skills. First, they create ponds by building dams. From these ponds, beavers dig canals that disperse water onto the land. As a result, plants begin to grow around these canals ultimately creating wetlands. These wetlands play a vital role in preventing wildfires from harming the surroundings. Further, when wildfires strike, the wetlands created by beavers remain unharmed. The land around the beaver-managed areas turns scorched and burnt, while the beavers' territories stay green. Beavers are also clever in storing water in ponds, canals, and soil within their complexes, ensuring enough water to keep the plants thriving, even during prolonged droughts. One of the astonishing examples of beavers' work is found in Oregon and Nevada. In the high deserts of Oregon, a remarkable transformation has occurred over the past 12 years. By reintroducing beavers, the land which was severely eroded and lifeless has turned into a thriving wetland. They created dams, dug canals, and transformed the riverbed from a fast-flowing erosive stream into a vibrant wetland full of ponds and canals that slow water flow and hold more water. 
In Nevada, simple changes in how cattle graze near Dixie Creek led to the natural return of beavers. Beavers' dams deepened the water and created floodplains, and even during severe droughts, the creek remains wet and surrounded by lush vegetation. The work of these beavers slowed down water flow, dropped sediment, built floodplains, and recharged the groundwater, transforming the once dry land into a wetland paradise. With these, we can surely say that beavers are the keystone species because of their vital role in ecosystem building. Where beavers aren't present, alternative methods can have similar effects. These incredible creatures surely can have a positive impact on the environment. So what do you think of beavers' transformative power to restore wetlands in North American deserts? Comment below and subscribe for more.